Japan, man, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Hello friends, you're welcome to my YouTube channel So, it's your girl, it's your lady It's your queen, La V And Bell V Creations, the beautiful life channel before I start this video, I would like to heartily thank you, my returning subscribers, my new subscribers. And if you're just stumbling by my videos, please do not forget to subscribe and then leave me a thumbs up. Thank you for always coming back. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And thank you. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a chit chat. And today's chit chat is actually about another video that resurfaced in the Chinese social media space. As you all know, I've been recently sharing a whole lot of chit chats that have to do with videos that have been shared in the Chinese social media space as to educate the Chinese populace that this is a normal way of life in Africa. As an African, I find this really not normal because where I come from in Africa, this is not what we do. So because of this, I'm bringing on these videos onto YouTube so that you can watch for yourself and let me know if this is what you do wherever you are. So the video I'm going to share with you guys today is another video um, of this Chinese lady who is somewhere in Tanzania in Africa doing videos. Now, I don't know what your impression is, but when you watch this video, I expect you to give me your reactions whether this video is true. If you are an East African or a Tanzanian, let me know if this is how you guys do it wherever you are in Tanzania. So on this video, um, there are these two black girls who are definitely Tanzanians. And this lady at the back of the camera is asking them, oh, what are you going to do today? And she says, cook. And then they clean beetroots, they cut some onion, and then... Um, they put oil in the pot. Some of the videos you can hear um, words like yokolito, which means oil in the pot. And if you've been watching this video, you'll discover that most of them cannot even express themselves in Chinese, which means that they are working on a script, which means that the content creator actually tells them the kind of content she wants, and then they create this content for her or him so that she uses this content to influence the population that is under her influence to believe that this is the way of life in Africa. So they, they fry the, the onion, then they put in the beetroots and then they put in some bread, then cover the pot and then, you know, it cooks for some time and then they open it and it's all done and then they're eating this hot. So basically what the lady is saying in Chinese is, oh, these are big birds in Africa, in the 50 something countries of Africa. This is how they stew big birds. This is how they stay fry big birds. This is how they cook big birds, you know. And then one of the big birds fall down and then this girl picks it up and then puts it back in the pot without washing it. One of the Chinese commenters did say that, how does something fall down and then you pick it up and then put it back inside the pot without washing it and she's like these people are really dirty and nasty you know i don't want to bring out the comments today but basically she also talked about the price and then she said this food must be really 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 yucky and then you know just watch the video and let me know your reactions see you later guys <laughs> 非洲真正的黑暗料理来了但凡家里有点条件的，就像今天这样，一整个下锅跟面包炖在一起。该说不说的啊，这个味道真的让人难以忘怀。哇哦，好了。I expect that you must have definitely watched the video to the end, and these are my questions. Did you notice the amount of salt that was put inside the food in Tanzania, in East Africa? Is this how much salt you put? In food. The second thing you must have noticed is the beetroot falling down and she picking it up and 
putting it in the pot without washing it. In Tanzania, is this how you guys do it? In Africa, wherever you are in Africa, is this how you guys do it? The third question I'm going to be asking you is the bread. Putting the bread inside of the pot, was it necessary? Is this how you guys do it in Tanzania? I mean, like bread is already baked. That's a form of cooking. That's a cooking method. So how do you cook bread and bread and cook bread and bread again? Is this how you do it in Tanzania? Because where I am from in Africa, this is not how we do it. The last bonus question I will be asking is, how is this dish called? If really this is a dish, then I would like to know how this dish is called. And I would really like to know how you eat the stewed beetroot bread. What you eat the stewed beetroot bread with? Do you eat it with rice or do you eat the beetroot bread to the stewed beetroot bread and bread or how do you eat it let me know how you call this wherever you are in your own part of africa in your own part of tanzania so bye and see you next time have a bevy